I'm just trying to reflect on what I want to speak about. I know many of you like when I speak on spiritual topics. And you can say this is part of a spiritual topic. But I'm mainly today targeting my beautiful sisters out there. Okay? I don't know you, but God knows you. And God is within his children. That which needs to be said, I'm going to speak up on it. Okay? I love you guys. I want to thank you for your love supporting my channel. Uh, many of you are new that are watching me. So much love to you. It is no coincidence, especially if you are a female. Okay? It's no coincidence. But anyway, this message is not for all of you, but many of you know somebody that knows somebody. Or maybe you can relate to this message yourself. Okay? And my brothers, if you just happen to be here, you know, much love to you all. And I appreciate you for rocking with your sister. Okay? Maybe there's a hidden message for you as well. Okay? Just have ears to hear when it comes to your loved ones. I can relate when it comes to this topic. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of, you know, my sisters out here. Okay? And my brothers. But I'm definitely seeing a lot of my sisters out here that has no knowledge of self. Okay? And I've been there. I didn't get here yesterday. And when you don't have no knowledge of self, you can be gullible. You can be coming from a place of operating your lower self. Okay? And that's pretty much, you know, um, instead of you facing your issues, you want to put a band-aid on it due to self-medicating, drugs, alcohol, or sex. Okay, I'm talking to somebody out there. I'm sure my brothers can relate to that also. Okay? Self-medicating. But this so-called numbness can hinder your spiritual walk. It can create stagnation. Okay? And you're also putting holes in your aura field which can cause you to be spiritually attacked. I know who's what I know. I be on here speaking my truth and my testimony. You got to go back and check out the vault, shall I say. But um, a lot of time I'm speaking on my own personal experiences. Okay, family? And it's a tough pill to swallow when you're facing and own your shit. Okay? But when we start to own it and come out of that victim mode, you can see more clearly. As they say, remove the beam out of your own eyes. You can, you can, you know, see much clearly instead of uh, being in victim mode. Woe is me. You know, yeah, they did their part, but how about the part that you played? Okay, in this so-called so scenario. Anyway, hold on, family. All right, I had to pause real quick. There's a lot of people that are going missing, okay? I know many of you don't really care for this kind of talk. But see, today is them. Tomorrow it can be you or your loved one. So we really need to be, you know, more empathetic, shall I say, when it comes to our brothers and sisters who are disappearing in your own community. You know, be... Be from a place of concerning because, you know, a lot of times, if I was going on with the individual, it's what's going on inside of them, how they're feeling about themselves. A lot of my sisters out here are being trafficked, you know. A lot of them uh, run away from home, especially these young uh, teens, okay. They run away from home. A lot of these young girls... You know, um, due to what's going on at home, okay, 
they're something it's something they're not getting at home. So they're out here in the street th thinking that, that they're going to get it in, out here in the streets. Yeah, they're going to get it all right. They're going to get what they don't want. But it's something going on at home, okay? Everything starts inwardly, as within, so without. Whether it's a, whether it's a, whether it's inside their home or something going on inside of them, pretty much it's a little bit of both. But it's pretty much lacking knowledge of self because when you have knowledge of self, you're gonna walk differently out here, okay? You're not gonna be walking out here seeking validation from anybody because you're validating yourself. God within you is validating you. You don't need man to validate you, okay? You're going to start looking at yourself much differently. Those things that you normally don't value, you're going to start valuing them because you know it's so important to see some worth in you. Not some worth, but to see worth in you. How do you expect for somebody else to see it if you don't see it? And many of you, because I know I have in the past, you would just settle thinking you're not good enough, thinking you can't get anything better. You just settle when you don't have to. It's very sad. I know. I'm now 52 years old. I think the Most High God allowed me to still be here in the land of living to share my truth as well as, you know, to be that voice for the voiceless. Because a, a lot of our sisters, you know, they're not here anymore. Because they were sabotaged by people who said that they, that they love them. Being, being in these so-called toxic relationships from hell. But many of them chose to endure those relationships for whatever reason. Because they didn't see no value in themselves. Okay? And many of them were scared to leave the relationship because I'm sure, you know, their significant other was, you know, um, threatening them. But look who they drew to them. They weren't even operating in their intuition, pretty much ignoring the intuition. Like I say, a lot of times people are operating their lower nature. You want what you want because you want it. And going by these eyes instead of this eye right here. We all have that intuitive muscle. It's a matter of using it. We all see those red flags when we're in these so-called relationships. It's a matter of seeing things for what it is so you can get the hell up out of there before it's too late. Many are very secretive. And when things happen, their family, their family members are in the dark. They know nothing about what was going on with them behind the scenes. Pretty much them a double life. And then when something jumped off, the family members don't know anything because they're very secretive. I have a family member like that too. They don't want to come around me too much because they know they're around me. Yeah, I'm definitely going to pick up on things about you and I'm going to let you know when I'm picking up. But a lot of people, they don't want to know the truth. I have people coming to me for all other different kind of readings, but when it comes to their love life, oh no, they don't want to hear that. And that's fine. I respect that. A lot of people want to find out for themselves. But think about you as someone, when it comes to their true intentions towards you, it's not really long term. They're pretty much with you as far as what they can get out of it. Friends with benefits. But you seen it as something else. You two are not equally yoked. You're not even on the same page. But you think, you think you two are. But they have their own hideous agenda. It is so important for us to listen to our intuition, to get out of our own way, stop trying to handle the matters on our own, and take it to God. And take it to God and have faith, knowing that He's going to work things out for your highest good. But many get in their own way, they self sabotage themselves. And make matters worse. Who am I talking to? I can relate to that. Not just your intuition. God does the thing you're trying to tell you. No, 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 no. Leave this alone. But she's fine. He's fine. It's going to keep many of you stuck. Because see, that person that you're drawn to that's not for your highest good, 
there are plenty in your life really to sabotage your path, okay? Many of you, your future is so bright. You have a purpose. A lot of times, the power that be will throw a monkey wrench at you. You can't see for what it is, okay? But the purpose of that, the purpose of this individual being in your life is really to create stagnation in your life, okay? To, to keep you off of your purpose because you're, you're very distracted, aren't you? You're distracted on the wrong things or on the wrong individual. Instead of going moving straight, you're off your path because all of a sudden somebody else got your attention. Hey, uh, they may be envious of you. Many of you have gifts. They see it. But something inside of them is trying to sabotage you. Who am I talking to? Many of you know what you're going through in your personal life. All the bull-ish. All the bull-ish. That that individual is taking many of you through. Many times, they're jealous of you. And if you're very intuitive, and you're an empath, like your sister... Many of you are going to be single. Hello, somebody. Many of you are going to be single because they know you have the gift to read them. And nobody wants to be read. Please know that. I do my best when I meet people not to try to pick up on the energy, but it's just naturally. I just know things about you. But if you know that your intention towards me is not genuine, why would you worry about me reading you? If anything, you should be like, well, hell, I ain't worrying about it because uh, I don't have no ill will intentions towards them. But many people do. They're with you for all the wrong reasons. A lot of my sisters are being pimped. Okay? You have millions now instead of them being the provider, the protector. Okay? <laughs> they want sugar mama. They want they pretty much want to lay low and, and, and you work. Okay? And you come back home to them uh, like they're your child or something. Okay? You're taking care of them. And that's fine. Don't we'll close your boat. But many men are getting involved with women like that as well. Okay? They're not trying to uh, be the provider. Okay? They want you to, to provide. Okay? And for many of you, you might feel like, well, you know, it's okay with me. And if, if it's okay with you, that's what you're going to continuously to get. Okay? Many of you be mindful who you allow to get close to you because it may not be you that they are attracted to. It could be your child. Have you thought about that? Or are many of you are too in denial? Please, please listen to your babies when they're talking, okay? Listen to your babies when they're talking to you. If, if something is not right, okay? Don't turn a blind eye to what they're saying. Listen to your babies. I'm going to end this reading. But I see a lot of women meeting people and they don't do a background check. I have something to call a spiritual background check. I very seldom get women that wants that rating. Okay, I get it. But you know what? They have other background checks that you can purchase. Okay? That you can Google and pur purchase. But many people do not. Because they're scared of what they're going to see. They might end up seeing a rap sheet. That they need to really be paying attention to. Mm-hmm. Domestic, you name it. This person can be married, you name it. There's no telling what can be on these rap sheets. But many women do not try to protect themselves and do a background check. And many of you that watch me, much love to you. Many of you are in a prosperous place in your life. Many of you are like bosses, okay? You got your own business, okay? You got it going on, you know, you got a professional background, and many of you are very foolish because you're not getting a background check on these mans. Surely you're not thirsty. Surely you're not that thirsty. But many of you don't want to be alone, okay? Many of you have that mindset, you don't want to be alone, and many of you don't see no value in yourself. Many of you don't have no knowledge of self, okay? You just gravitate to somebody that looks fine. And whatever that they're telling you, you're eating it up, okay? Instead of seeing things for what it really is and spitting some of that shit out. 
I love you, my sisters. Will you please, when you beat somebody new, get a background check. It is so important. I do readings all the time, crime reading, missing person readings. And had these women done a background check, they would still be alive. They will still be alive. One woman got involved with a man. I don't know if she knew he was married or not, but his wife came home early at his house. He invited the woman to his home, okay? And his wife came home and killed the woman. One woman, that's, that's a, a businesswoman, okay, got it going on, met this man online. No, 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 her cousin introduced her to this man, okay, that lives in the neighborhood, and she got involved with him. And, uh, yeah, instead of her doing a, a background check, she trusted her cousin, okay, as far as, hooking her, as far as hooking her up with this man, and this man killed her. So, anyway, with that being said, please do a background check when you're meeting people because you don't know what their intentions is towards you and you cannot go by looks okay my sister we have it in us intuitively listen to that still voice please okay you mean if you have teenage daughters talk to them all right and we know how it is you know they think you know everything but do your best to try to uh, school them shall I say And let them know that um, just because a person is up in your face is showing interest, you know, find out what's behind that spirit. You know, take their time instead of rushing. That gets a lot of us in trouble also. My brothers, you do the same, okay? Because these women's got something for you. Please know that. They'll use you and spit you right on out and on to the next. Or maybe they might be interested in your son. <laughs> you just never know what's going on with people. But anyway, uh, I'm just seeing too many, you know, my sisters out here being sabotaged. And pretty much is due to ignorance. It's due to rushing, not getting to know the person well. Hell, it's due to not getting a background check. Because had they had a background check, they would see a rap sheet whether this person is married, whether this person has a history of domestic abuse, and a host of other things they would know about them, but at least you would be in the know first be in the dark. These days, it's no excuse. A lot of people don't want to know the truth. The truth will set you free. It's pretty much what's, what's more important to you. You want to know the truth or you just want to continuously be in the dark because you don't want to be alone. You're never alone. God is with you. You're never alone. And see, when you remove these people, you can start seeing more clearly, okay? Uh, that cloudiness that was once going on inside your head, that fogginess, it will start to clear up and you can get back on track. Get back on track to you, okay? Focus on your purpose and the things that you love to do, okay? Get back on track and be about your purpose okay don't let nobody block you from your purpose and see when you look back on these relationships these people that you once was with you can see the big picture okay but the main thing learn the lesson learn the lesson don't fall back and keep going in circles with somebody else because you did not learn the lesson anyway I just want to show my little pretty face okay I'm doing just fine, all right? I just wanted to, um, this mess was on my heart to speak about, because this is what I'm seeing lately, okay? I'm just seeing a lot of this lately. A lot of my sisters have no knowledge of self. And there's nothing wrong with twerking, okay? Do you, okay? Do you. By all this head down and ass up, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of my sisters are backwards, Okay? They're, they're, they're pretty much the way you're moving out here. You're moving very backwards. Okay? That's that lower nature. You know, raise up. Raise up. Raise up. Raise your vibration. Raise up. Love yourself. Do some healing so you can release the baggage of yesterday, which we help you see clearly moving forward. All right, my sisters? 
and the more many of you start having knowledge of self and you become more spiritual and more intuitive, please know many of you are going to find yourself very lonely, very single. You watch my word. I don't wish this on many of you, but it comes with it. Because all of a sudden you have this, you know, you have this um, knowingness of you is telling you, uh-uh, this ain't the one. And you and you're gonna be times you might want to ignore it, but listen to it. Let that person go about their business because they're not the one for you. And the one that is, you would know. You would know. Okay? But make sure you do your research. Do your homework on this individual before you allow them to get close to you. Okay? Don't be so thirsty out here. Gravitate to anybody to send all these nice, kind words to you because you're gonna fall for the okie doke. You want the enemy get you like this, get their grips on you. Okay? There you go, being all distracted, getting off your game, getting off your purpose. Focus on you, ladies. I know it's hard to do. Focus on you. And for many of you who have been in a relationship to where, you know, uh, you're dealing with a breakup, yes, go through the motions. To feel is to heal. To feel is to heal. Okay? I, I guess that. But what will help you heal more is we get back to you. All that love that you had for them, put it back on you. Love yourself and focus on the things that you love to do. Okay? It will help you to heal more quickly. Get back to you. We got many of you got gifts out here. Get back to your gifts and crafts. Whatever it is that you do. Whatever it is that you love to do. Get back to you. Your God-given talent. Okay? Focus on you. You'd be surprised how you will heal more quickly. Because all that love you had for them, you're putting it back on you. Because you are deserving of love. But you have to feel that way about yourself. Don't look for it outside of you. It starts with you. Get back to you. Love yourself. Do the thing that you love to do. It's distraction, but it's a good distraction. Because focus on yourself. Love you. If you enjoyed this message, think about others. Share it. Most importantly, hit the like because, you know, others will be able to see this message. But I know I'm, I'm talking to somebody. And y'all really want to hear this kind of message. I get it. But maybe you have ears to hear. I do spiritual background checks. But also many of you can get your own background check. Before you get involved with somebody and give them your heart. You protect you. You love you. Uh, go ahead and do your research first. Before you allow somebody to get close to you. Okay. I feel like every day a woman is going missing. A child is going missing. I love you, family. Continuously to put the work in, raise your vibration, okay? And keep your feet from evil. And definitely love yourself. Peace.